Good day. This is the second video of our series Proxy SG101 with GNS3 integration. So, let's start. In this video, I'll, I'll going to tackle about first time configuration or initial configuration on the management console. So, you need to open your browser and then Access the management control through the HTTPS and the IP address that we set um, on the first video, which is 10.10.200.100.4882. 10, As you can see, port 8082 is the default uh, port management port of the proxy SG. So we need to click on the Java applet, then click, then we need to open. Login. Okay, as you can see on the management console, um, on the upper left, it says there the appliance name, the serial number, the firmware version, and the edition of the proxy. So, at first, we need to uh, change the appliance name in the configuration and identification. Then... change to proxy sg101 apply as you can see it will immediately um, change the appliance name on the upper left okay the next thing is to change the dns to input the dns so edit you can use the public one then apply And after that, we need to go, uh, to check the time zone. It's very important the, to check always the time zone, to set always the time zone. Since see, And since we are on the Asia, I'm going to Asia and then the rest of Singapore. Okay. So if you have an NTP, you can um, input your NTP here and promote so that it will be on the top and then and after that we need um, to install the license so we go to the maintenance licensing then install so if you have um, you can retrieve the license automatically by inputting your semantic user ID and password here but for now I'm going to update the license using the license file so local file let continue proxy SG license then this is the license okay the license was successfully installed so the last one on the initial configuration is to download the database so configuration Content filtering, general, then click on the click on the blue code, then click apply. So the detail says it's not actually an error but a lag that they that he did when upon installing. So as you can see, click on the blue code, it should be oh, so that the database are already downloaded. So, how to verify that? Just click the categories. Go to the general again and click the categories. So, we already success we successfully download, um, downloaded all the categories. So, that's the initial configuration of the proxy SG using the management console. So, I hope you... This will be informative to you and I would like thank you for viewing.